When I meet professors, they first ask me why I'm at this conference. I say, oh, I do pancreatic cancer research, and their eyes get a bit wider, and then they ask me, do you do anything with nanotubes? And I was like, yeah, I actually do stuff with nanotubes and proteins. If I was probably referred to as the cancer paper boy. I was sure there had to be a better way. And my breakthrough came in high school biology class when I was looking at an article on single-walled carbon nanotubes and we were learning about antibodies, a molecule that attaches specifically to a certain protein. When Jack told the family what he wanted to do, we all mocked him and we discouraged him strongly. We said, that's nothing that a kid in high school can do. Young people aren't necessarily credited with being able to produce these great ideas. Then it hit me. I could have this antibody in the network of carbon nanotubes, such that this network reacted only to this one protein, mesotheon, and changed its electrical properties based on the amount of that protein present. I was pretty sure I had found a new way to attack pancreatic cancer. I said, fine, if you want to do this experiment, then you find yourself a lab. So I emailed 200 professors, anyone who had anything to do with pancreatic cancer. The higher education community tends to be a little bit closed-minded towards new ideas. If you're not somebody, you're nobody kind of thing. I had 199 rejections out of 200 people. Here's a 14-year-old kid asking to work in their lab so I can understand that they might say, we're not a middle school training ground. <laughs> When I was in third grade, I was in quadratic equations when my class was in, like, reading clocks. I would say Jack is quite gifted. We do a lot of equation solving that I will tell everybody, take out a calculator. Jack can do a lot of them in his head. So he probably assumed that this was a great idea and everybody would be able to see it was a great idea. It seemed like the entire world was just telling me no. However, out of all those rejections, I had one lukewarm maybe. And after three months, I finally nailed down an interview with him and I got the lab space I needed. That was a huge step, but then it was a long process of trial and error. And so there was a lot of tears and it took probably longer than it could have if you were a PhD guy, but it was just so exciting when he finally came out with a working strip. I ended up with a small test strip that's the size of a diabetes test strip. That's 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and over 400 times more sensitive than the current gold standard. And the key here is that the patient has close to 100 percent chance of survival if they're diagnosed with that. We see pictures of Einstein with white hair, but his discoveries were made very young, so hopefully Jack will have pictures as a 14-year-old having actually been credited with these discoveries. 